Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover estimating decimal products, and we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, when we estimate, we find an approximate value to the exact answer. So for each of these examples, we're going to round to the nearest whole number, multiply in order to get our estimate, and then check to see how it compares to the exact answer. So let's jump into number one here, where we have four and three tenths times two and nine tenths. So again, the first thing we wanna do is round each of these decimals to the nearest whole number, which is going to be the ones place. So four and three tenths, let's take a look at the ones place, look next door. So we need to ask ourselves, is that going to round up to five or stay the same at four? Now four and three tenths is going to be closer to four. That three says stay the same. Times, well, two and nine tenths, let's see if this is closer to two or three. So look next door, and that nine tells us that we round up to three, that we are closer to three. So we can do four times three in order to get an estimate here. So our estimate is going to be 12. So we can put four and three tenths times two and nine tenths is approximately 12. So this squiggly equal sign means approximately, a close value. Now the exact answer to number one is 12 and 47 hundredths. So you can see that we had a pretty good estimate there. It was really close to that exact answer. On to number two, where we have six and 94 hundredths times three and eight tenths. So again, let's round to the nearest whole number, the ones place, six and 94 hundredths. Let's look next door and this is going to round to seven. Six and 94 hundredths is closer to seven than it is to six times three and eight tenths is going to round to four. So we can do seven times four equals 28 and that's going to be our estimate. The exact answer to number two is 26 and 372 thousandths. So again, pretty close estimate there that gave us an approximate value to that exact answer. Number three, we have seven and 199 thousandths times five and 72 hundredths. So let's round. Seven and 199 thousandths rounds to seven times five and 72 hundredths rounds to six. So seven times six gives us an estimate of 42. The exact answer to number three is 41 and 343 ten thousandths. So again, we have a pretty close estimate there. And lastly, number four, 10 and three tenths times eight and four hundredths. So nearest whole number, let's look next door. And 10 and three tenths is closer to 10 than it is to 11 times eight and four hundredths is closer to eight than it is to nine. So we'll round to eight. And 10 times eight gives us an estimate of 80. The exact answer to number four is 82 and 812 thousandths. So you can see uh, how those compare. And again, lastly, a great estimate there that gave us an approximate value to the exact answer. So there you have it. There's how you estimate decimal products. Round to the nearest whole number, multiply, and that's going to give you an approximate value to the exact answer. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.